All right, so I've been getting asked to do a snow environment with a logo animation that I previously posted as a short video. This video will be split into two parts. The first one in which we'll uh, be creating the environment and then the second one will be creating the uh, animating the logo and the um, cameras by sequences. And with both combined, we'll have something like this. All right, so before we jump into the video though, I wanna point out that when you're working in 3D, not everything is what you might think, if that makes any sense. So per se, something might look a certain way, but that doesn't mean it was created that way. And there's different ways to achieve things in the 3D space. There's many different ways you could achieve something, create something, and you're gonna see what I mean by that in this tutorial. Also, if you want to get yourself a class hoodie, I will have a link down below to my website where you can get your own oversized, comfortable, super comfortable hoodie. Don't miss on it. All right, so let's jump right into the video. So now that we're here in Blender, of course, I got rid of my uh, defaults. We, we don't want any of these. Um, so again, we're going to create the, um, the plane. I'm going to try to, as always, make this as, as fast as possible, straightforward. So this is what we're gonna do, all right? Uh, hopefully you guys can get, uh, go along with it. So it'll be this way. We're gonna shift A out of plane, right? We're gonna scale eight. We're gonna have a plane like this one right here. We're gonna go into uh, tab to go to edit mode, right click, subdivide. We're gonna open up the subdivide uh, tab down here and we're gonna put 50 instead of one, right? And we're gonna click enter and we're gonna have all these subdivisions right here. Uh, tab to go out of edit mode and go into um, object mode. And then once we have this, what you wanna do is, you wanna go to your, you wanna control A actually, and make sure you apply the scale since we, we, we scaled it. So we just wanna make sure we apply the scale um, to keep the default as this size that we have right now. And uh, we wanna go to the modifiers uh, tab, add a modifier, and uh, we wanna add a, a displace modifier. And so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on new and then once we click on new we're gonna go into the uh, show texture and texture and texture tab which you could either you could also go down here but we're just gonna click on that button it'll just be easier it's right there um so now we're gonna change image or movie into clouds and we're gonna get something like this size we're gonna go all the way up which is two and the depth we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna get something like this you also want to make sure you right click and shade smooth i know i'm speaking very fast but i just want to make sure that um, we waste no time here and we just go straight forward into the point. I'm going to be speaking very fast, try to give you all the details, information, and you know, if there is any explanation I got to do, then I'll stop and make sure that um, I explain, right? Uh, so now that we have this, what you also want to do is, we, let's go back into the, into the, um, uh, the modifier and uh, I think the strength should be lowered even more. I would say maybe something like this right i think this should work another thing i like to do is i like to um go to tab go to edit mode click on this uh point right here and uh, you want to make sure you have your uh proportional editing on and you want to go and click g to grab but uh, you want to scroll down on your on your mouse wheel and it should give you something like this Control z to be able to grab that on the z axis which will allow you to do up and down. And you might wanna just bring it up slightly, something like this, you know, just so we can have a nice um, uh, heel. So there's a little bit of a difference perspective in, in your um, plane, um, but yeah. Um, all right, so now what we want to do is we wanna go to um, shading, the shading tab, or actually before we do that, let's go back to layout really quick. Let's go to click on the uh, render viewport, right? And uh, we wanna go to the world property and you wanna go click on this yellow dot. You wanna um, click on the environment texture, open up. Now, if you don't have one, you could down, you could search one up on textures.com or anywhere online. There's different places you could go and get one for free, right? I already have my own one, which I have a link in the uh, description below where you could go and download it. 
uh, which will be this one right here. I think this one goes very perfect with the um, environment we're trying to create, which is a snow environment. I think we have the sky and it's perfect, right? And you can also use this one for many other environments you're trying to do. I think the sky looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, now that we have this set up though, we're gonna now go into the shading tab and um, we wanna go and click on the render view once more. Um, I think also what we're gonna do is while selecting on the plane, so you wanna shift A, at new material we're gonna name this um snow plane snow wow snow uh snow plane right and enter right so now now that we have this you want to add a uh, color ramp so shift a color ramp and uh, we'll have this right here insert that into the base color and um, now we also want to have a uh, image image texture right Click that color to the um, color to the um, the the fact, and you also want to go and color to the base color, right? And um, I actually meant to put this in the um, I actually meant to put this in the specular. I'm sorry, that's what I meant, specular. So make sure you have that on the specular, right? And uh, what you want to do is you want to go to open. Now again, now I'm going to have an image texture that you could find on the description down below. Click on that link and you'll find it. Um, and it's called the uh, snow texture, right? So now we'll have a nice plane like this one right here. Full of snow. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and so now what we want to do is we want to go and add a bump bump node which will do exactly what it says which is uh creating bumps in your plane to look more realistic in a way uh and so now we're also gonna go and add a noise texture and um connect that connect the um the noise texture you could connect the color into the height and so this will create um this uh effect right here that just showed up on our plane and as you can see, you can see the nice bumps. So, um, the camera died, and um, not died, but the the SIM card is full. And uh, I just want to go and keep a keep going with the tutorial without without a camera. We don't need a camera, anyways. Um, anyways, uh, the important thing here is that I get you guys to do this. No environment, pretty cool, easy, straightforward. Nothing too much complicated. All you're gonna have to do is download the image textures from the link below. But anything other than that, everything is in Blender, pretty straightforward. Um, so that being said, like I said, we have the uh, color into the uh, height right here and um, a few things you want to do is you want to go into the uh, noise texture and you want to bring this up to about I would say maybe 800 and that should give you a cool thing going on as you can see you you see this nice noise going on on the snow I think it looks more real and um, another thing we could do is probably bring this to about 2.3 and uh, that, that works for me. And um, the um, roughness and the distortion will leave it at is, as is, right? Um, another thing we could do is the strength over here could be lower even more. I would say probably somewhere about, about uh, point 0.1 should work. And um, yeah, so now we have this, school, this cool snow environment. Um, I think I think we need more. I think we need something like this, right? So now that we have this uh, snow plane, what we could do is we could go back to layout. Um, we could go and add a uh, new tab by going on this corner right here. Make sure you have this white um, cross hair thing. And then you just wanna split your screen like so. And so over here, we're gonna have our render viewport. And um, if we go to the uh, render, uh, the render properties and you go to EV. I think we're gonna stay with EV for this one. Just turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space, reflection, and motion blur. And um, you'll have this, right? I also like to uh, turn off my overlays so that we just could see the, the plane, right? So now what we wanna do is we wanna go and shift A to add a camera um, and zero to click on that camera. N, letter N, to open up this tab right here. And you want to go to view, uh, camera to view, and now you want to zoom out. So this is going to be the um, the angle that we're going to start with for the uh, scene. Because we want to be able to see the, um, the heel kind of going up up there, right? So now that you have this, 
you could go in zero to come out the camera view and go to zero on this side of the uh, render viewport, right? To go into the camera view. So while we work, we'll be able to see the um, what we got going on, the comp composition in a way, you know? Go into edit over here, preferences, and you wanna make sure you have on the add-on that, that, that's called plain images into planes. So make sure you click on this, turn turn that on, and um, what you're gonna be what you're gonna be able to do now is Shift A. If you go to um, images, you'll have the uh, images as planes, and click on that. Down below, I'm gonna be giving you guys these uh, um, images. So basically, you just have a tree like so that you'll be able to scale up as a PNG. And um, if you go ahead and rotate this so that it's looking at the camera um you have something nice like this right so now essentially what you could do with this is you go on seven and um, you could go and move this and play with play with it while on this side you'll be able to see what you're doing and so this is why i split the screen that way we could you know easily have control of where we move things and, th and stuff like that on this side and on this side we'll actually see the um composition of it so now you could scale this up i would say like this grab Z to bring this bring this um up like so and um i think maybe we could even move that even closer to the camera so it's kind of on the way but not really um once you have that you could shift d and duplicate that and maybe move it to this side but farther in i would say maybe somewhere around there and um what you want to do is now is shift a once more images as planes and um, we're gonna, again, these images will be down on the um, description below. It'll be a link with the uh, all the images. So just make sure you download them all. And um, now we're gonna have this right here. You wanna scale that up and you'll have this nice thing going on. So move that to the back and uh, maybe grab Z and bring it up a little bit so you can actually see it. And um, let, let's actually scale that even more. And um, what we could do now is Shift D to duplicate it, R Z 90 to um, rotate it, and um, we want to make sure that it doesn't look the same on both sides. So maybe move this one in uh, like so, right? Uh, another thing you could do is you could possibly even Shift D and um, R Z 180, and um, that way you have um, different variations behind it, and so. Now that you have this, I think we're pretty much done just for the uh, for the um, environment. And so this is what I meant by telling you guys, not everything seems what, you know, maybe you saw this at first and you said, wow, he created those trees and, and, and you know, but no, it's just images as a PNG that you add into your 3D um, environment or scene and um, you're able to create these cool things. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I mean now on the next video what i'm going to be showing you how to do is we're going to add a logo we're going to um, animate it and um, we're going to be animating different cameras on your timeline so that they're all together into one video just like the sample that i showed you in the uh, beginning of this video but anyways that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next and um yeah i'll see you guys on the part two thank you